guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a bit of a different kind of video. <laughs> Gonna speak Portuguese now. E aí, gente, hoje a gente vai fazer um vídeo diferente porque eu comentei com a Mori na ela é da minha faculdade. E eu falei pra ela, toda vez que eu vou cozinhar com o Jonathan, a gente faz uma bagunça na cozinha porque eu não sei o vocabulário de cozinhar. I understood that. Yeah, you did. Okay. So you tell me that I don't understand cooking vocabulary. Yes, good job. I'm not going to fail, I promise. Well, we'll see. This is Morgan. Hello. Morgan studies with me. At Concordia, and I was talking to her about it, and I'm speaking English again. It's so hard to switch. <laughs> Not used to it. It's crazy. Anyways, e aí a gente decidiu que a gente ia fazer um bolo de cenoura que ela acha. Ela, eu levei para ela uma vez na faculdade, e ela gostou muito. Vem, então vamos fazer um vídeo. Aliás, a ideia foi dela de fazer esse vídeo, mostrando para vocês um pouco da dificuldade que a gente tem quando a gente está num se relacionando com pessoas de outro idioma. So are you ready? Let's give this a go. All right, so I gotta read the recipe because I don't remember everything. <laughs> I'm just shocked that there's a blender. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I keep looking at it. I can repeat as many times as you want. Okay, sure. I just cannot translate it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no translating. Okay. It's just awesome. going to be me, you, Portuguese, and uh, hopefully delicious desserts. Bolo de cenoura! We shall see how this goes. Para fazer essa receita de bolo de cenoura, você vai precisar de 4 ovos, 4 cenouras médias ou 270 gramas, meia xícara de óleo, e é isso, para começar. I understood that part. Ok, good job. Let's start. Você vai colocar todos esses ingredientes no liquidificador. All of these ingredients, something, something right there. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Warning. You're laughing at me. I am. I am. She's doing some Duolingo Portuguese classes. I'm trying, I'm yeah. trying. I will hopefully, the next time we do something like this, I will hopefully not be as much of a dunce. <laughs> so I know it's four eggs. That I understood perfectly. So just go through it one more time slowly for me. Okay. Quatro ovos. Yeah. Meia xícara de óleo. Wow, that's a number? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> this is already so good. <laughs> I'm not failing this early. I refuse to fail this. I'm gonna crack some eggs, so enjoy some ASMR. Fun fact, one of my cousins who likes to go to the gym a lot cracks one of these raw in his mouth every morning. What the hell? For protein. So that's a good start. Now, I recognize this one mm -hmm. because you just told me the name of the cake and I heard that and that, so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cheating already. How much of this guy? Uh, meio copo. Oh, it is in cups. Some of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if it's like a fourth of a cup and I've like quadrupled it. For our wonderful sonoras, how many of these? Two. Um, oh, 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 oh no! Zeitos e setenta gramas. Two hundred and seventy grams. You got it! Oh, <laughs> I will let you know that I speak Spanish, not Portuguese, so that might be cheating. That number two helped you. You're not used to jumping back and forth so quickly, I bet. No, it's really weird. Next step. Bate no liquidificador por dois minutos. Okay. That many? So, I heard dor, which means zero in French, which means hard. So, I'm gonna say at the highest difficult, at the highest speed, for two minutes and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. Ooh. But I remember from when you brought this to me that it was still kinda carroty but pretty liquid. So I'm gonna call that good enough. If there's carrot chunks, there's carrot chunks, just getting added flavor. Alright. I love your enthusiasm. Agora você vai adicionar duas xícaras de açúcar no liquidificador. Bate por mais dois minutos. So I heard sugar, but I'm not seeing any sugar. Oh, I can give you some. <laughs> I'm like, here you go. I was wondering if it was a cheat because like maybe the word for sweetened milk is oh, like oh that would have been funny if i just totally buggered it right from the start <laughs> we're both gonna eat this at the end so yeah. just be prepared for that i feel like that is not relating to cups 
I feel like it's two tablespoons of sugar. But for a whole cake, give it to me again. Two xícaras de açúcar e batendo no liquidificador por dois minutos. So we know we're adding the sugar to this and we're mixing it again for another two minutes. It's just so funny. I can't imagine how much shit's going on in your brain. My brain is just like, put. Because I'm hearing. What's the most logical thing to do next? In right? my mind, I'm hearing shake. But it's not like just to shake. Like, that would be for salt. But it's not salt, it's sugar because it's the same word in Spanish again. Ha! Huh. Multiple languages. <laughs> yep. So. Okay, I'm gonna change the word I used because I think I did that last time and helped. Okay. So, dois copos. Oh! Oh, that could have been awful. <laughs> You imagine, I was about to put only two tablespoons, so <laughs> we're just going to spin this back to the cups. I should have known, because I'm sorry, you guys do sweets very well. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a Brazilian, like, sweet that is not super sweet. sweet. Yeah, exactly. I should have known. I was I like, don't fuck this cake, girl. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's carrot juice. Se você quiser ligar o forno já. Pardon me. <laughs> Se você quiser ligar o forno para começar a aquecer, é uma boa ideia. In the direction you just gave me, did you tell me the temperature that I have to heat the oven to? No. What is my temperature? É 375 Fahrenheit. My brain is just like computing. I feel like like a calculator, just going, okay, that's that. This is this in Spanish, this is this in French, <laughs> this is this in English. Agora você vai colocar tudo na tigela e acrescentar duas xícaras de farinha de trigo aos poucos. Well, I heard this. You're doing so song. well. I'm impressed. <laughs> I really don't think you said 12. Coloca numa tigela a massa e vai acrescentando dois copos. Okay. Duas okay, two, not yeah. two. <laughs> I feel like I was supposed to add that gradually, but you know what? Unless it's the other way around, I'm supposed to add that gradually. Because this is the thing. Baking has a rule where you always add your liquids to your solids. But now I'm wondering if Brazil has tossed that on its head. Well, we made a cake with a blender, so what do you think? I think I need to hear the directions again. <laughs> Pra quem for fazer esse bolo em casa e não quiser errar a receita, você coloca a primeira parte líquida dentro da tigela e depois você vai adicionando de pouquinho a farinha. I have no idea what you just said. I heard my name and flour. <laughs> ok, coloca tudo na tigela, a massa que você bateu no liquidificador e depois vai adicionando as duas farinhas de, de trigo aos poucos e peneirando. Então, tem mais coisa ainda pra fazer, Morto. Oh, am I supposed to add this gradually to there? Then you get something that you might need that might give you a hint. I feel so much safer now. So we're gonna just take a moment to uh, correct my wrongs. Here, let me get you for your spoon. The thing we do in American and Canadian cooking to ensure there's no lumps. <laughs> now I feel like the sieve might be for pouring this through so you don't get the chunks. Am I on the right track? Yes or no? No. Okay. Not with that step, at least. Oh, now I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> okay. So we have flour. We have our eggy, oily, carroty mixture. We still need to add the condensed milk, unless the condensed milk is for the ganache. Can you even say the word ganache? Ganache. Okay. I was curious. I was <laughs> like, what? So I'm going to pour it in and stir it gradually. She's laughing at me. She's going, oh, no. If this ends up being a dough, we can like make like carrot cake bread balls. <laughs> oh my god. You're just looking at this and you're going, that does not look right. I don't say anything. I just gonna watch. Como se fala? Absolutely messing this up. <laughs> tá tudo fudido. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of a nice texture. I won't lie. Also, please ignore my hands. I'm a nail biter. Oh my goodness, Morgan, stop. <laughs> Então, pra quem for fazer esse bolo em casa, não pode mexer rápido igual ela tá fazendo Porque é, o bolo fica duro Tem que so mexer know... devagarzinho, com um jeitinho, com amor Nada de mexer rápido, nada, muito menos batedeira Porque se você não souber usar batedeira, você fode com o bolo mesmo Então... Vaguely understood that one yeah. And I think it translates to don't overmix 
Não é assim que eu sei nada. Você precisa de uma colher de fermento e mexer gentilmente no bolo. Fun fact, colher is the same in French. It's spoon. Tem que passar na peneira pra o bolo ficar bom. Então vai passar na mão. You're just speaking. I just. It's not gibberish. That's the thing. People make fun of certain languages for being a little gibberishy. But that sounds like a sentence to me. I just don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Tem que colar na peneira. God. Don't judge me, but peneira sounds like bread. Peneira. Of all the words you have learned in Portuguese so far, which one's the coolest one? Oh. I mean, the one that has stuck most in my head for some reason is peixe. Peixe? Because <laughs> I would never expect that, like, I was looking at it and I was going, okay. So, it's like, pexy. But no. <laughs> pexy, I love that. Is there something I need to do to this in order to make sure the cake doesn't stick? Same. There we go. I promise my hands are clean. I que ela sentou aqui, boy. Some of you will have to tell me at the end if she's just bad mouthing me the whole time. <laughs> no, I think I could tell. I think I could tell if yeah. you were calling me a dummy. Yeah. Is passive aggressiveness a thing? Like, do you, like, is that something that translates into the language? <laughs> yes. I love the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So next time, você pode colocar farinha na tigela se você quiser na forma. Ou você pode colocar isso direto. Eu coloco farinha para ter certeza que não vai grudar. Mas... I'm not going to ask questions, but I think it just means to toss a little bit of flour in there and bat it around. I'm so proud of you! <laughs> Morgan! I didn't understand half of what she said, I just know baking, I'm sorry. So I don't think I could survive alone in Brazil. But I could maybe try and hold a conversation. How close are we to done? Like how many steps are left? I think that's it. And then there's making the chocolate and yeah. stuff. I mean it's folding like cake batter, so... It's really pretty your batter. Pretty if it doesn't taste good. Well, we'll see. So now you know how carrot cake is done. It's very different, but it's so good. Vai ficar no forno por 35 a 40 minutes. So 35 to 40 minutes. Wow! She's like flying Portuguese. I'm impressed. That's it. You did it, girl. In the yeah. meantime, I guess we will let you guys just disappear into the future while we clean up. Alright, guys, so we'll see you in the future when you're gonna do the uh, chocolate ganache. The chocolate ganache. See you in a bit. Bye! And we're back! So, we did a cake. The cake is still in the oven. It's about to be ready. I'm now gonna make the ganache, which is very similar to brigadeiro. Pra começar, a gente vai colocar mais ou menos uma colher, duas colheres de manteiga, a leite moça e uma colher cheia de chocolate. I heard butter, I heard chocolate. I did not hear sweetened condensed milk, but I did hear milk. So yeah. I'm assuming that means. Leite condensado. I think at this point it's almost just like we're, we're both just like eh. So you can turn it on. Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> Priscilla can share a embarrassing story about me and condensed milk that she's probably forgotten. One of our friends from school is allergic to a lot of things. Peter, if you're watching, hello. Um, and I originally thought that there was no milk in condensed milk. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's true. I was like, what? Like, condensed milk. I don't know. I don't know. So, give me the whole thing in order again. Tem que colocar tudo dentro. Yeah, put everything in, but how much of each? Você pode colocar todo o leite condensado, umas duas, três colheres de achocolatado. Okay, one, two, three. E agora você vai mexer tudo. Tem que acrescentar leite também, porque a textura tem que ser mais líquida. Então você pode colocar um meio copo de leite, depende de quão líquido você quer que fique. Eu gosto que ela fique líquida, porque daí ela entra nos buraquinhos do bolo que eu faço depois. Well, I heard liquid, and I heard a lot. Especially with a little bit of milk, so it stays liquidy. Yeah, girl, she's good! Go a bit at a time, so you can always add, but you can't take it. Smart. That looks good to me. I need to be careful, Pablo. Don't climb in. Morgan's cake looks fantastic. Wow. Bad. Good job. All right, back to chocolate syrup. Oh, it's burning. Oh, no. 
Ah, isso é outra coisa que não pode esquecer, não pode parar de mexer. Eu vou esperar um pouco off off the heat. Yeah. Ela parece muito... Eu não sei como eu vou pegar o lump cell. Eu acho que você tem que deixar bastante tempo, ele vai engrossar. Você está cansado? Ah, não, não está tão bem, mas sim. Porque ele tem que ficar bastante tempo até começar a engrossar. So maybe I just have to really let it get warm without burning so that the lumps disappear. Am I somewhere on the right track? Sing. Yeah, I think Morgan's hat is like I think limits. I think it's done for the day then. Yeah, she's like, um, oh, okay, we can stop there. I'm done with this. That's looking more like the texture I'm looking for. Oh, so now she's the specialist, guys. I watched enough tasty videos. Oh yeah? Yeah. I can do this. I'm clocked out. I'm done. I mean, now she just wants to sit down and eat her cake. It smells so good in here. I can't believe how perfect they look. It's yeah. a pretty simple recipe, I'm surprised. I know, right? Was it your first time doing a cake in the blender? Yes. I'm not one to use the blender very often. Se você tá mexendo sem parar, você pode até aumentar o fogo um pouquinho. See the difference? Yeah. No, it's much better now. Yeah. Maria should for sure start her cooking show. I can't believe she actually did a cake with only Portuguese instructions and the cake turned out okay. Ooh, that's looking good, Morgan. Portuguese question time. Mm -hmm. Is this thick enough? See more now. <laughs> See more now. <laughs> Is it weird more. constantly more. switching from your mother tongue to English? It's fucking horrible. <laughs> It's really weird. She's like, I speak English with John at home, and like we don't switch, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's natural. When I'm translating to him something that my parents said or something like that, it's really weird. Good one. Oh, looks good. Oh my god, that's gonna be good. I should have made a double batch. Yeah. I think it's okay. Ooh, looks like it's fluffy. Well, let's see, let's see. Ooh, not bad. It's looking really good. Not bad. Ready? Yep. One, Here. two, three. High five! That's really nice. Wow! Então a gente vai comer o bolo. Obrigada por terem assistido. Thank you for watching the video. If you have suggestions or you want us to do it again, Leave it in the comments below. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a wonderful week and a happy carnival. Bye, guys. Bye. Look at this. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs>